In this video, I will remove the shroud of mystery surrounding the charging and use of copper laps, the gem cutting industry's best kept secret. You will need some basic supplies to get started. You will need WD-40, your uncharged copper lap, of course, a scrap corundum, or a clean, unused steel roller. Copper cream paste is strongly recommended for cleaning the copper lap before charging. Make sure you also set aside some diamond paste that will be used to charge your lap. Finally, you will need an old expired plastic credit card or another plastic card about that size. It will be used to evenly spread diamond paste on the lap. The steel roller method is my preferred method. I found this steel roller on Amazon. It's normally used for leather making purposes, but I've used it to push diamond into copper with great success. I think it's slightly more effective at doing this than a piece of corundum. However, I believe that you will need to have a dedicated roller for every size grit used to avoid cross-contamination, and that can get expensive quickly. So, we move on to the cheaper corundum method. This requires a scrap piece of synthetic ruby or sapphire if you don't have a steel roller available. You will need to grind down the tip of your sacrificial ruby on a steel lap to at least 600 grit first. Copper is very soft in comparison, and the tip has to be smooth to avoid scratching your virgin copper lap. You can also dop a piece of ruby, attach it to the quill, and sweep it across the lap as if you're cutting a stone. This will require you to clean up more pieces of equipment when you're done, so I prefer to use my piece of ruby freehand and avoid possible contamination to my mast. I highly recommend that you clean your lap with copper cream before you attempt to charge it with diamond. If there are any oils or other contamination on the lap, the copper cream will clean it off and allow your copper lap to accept the diamond charge better. Another benefit to cleaning your lap before charging is to allow the natural beauty of the copper to shine through. We're all about the beauty and aesthetics of shiny things anyway, aren't we? Now that your lap is fresh and clean, dry it off with a clean paper towel. Take a moment to admire the copper's natural beauty. The color really comes through after cleaning. Move over boring silver-colored laps. I just really like the polished copper look before natural oxidation has a chance to develop. If only there was a way to preserve it without applying varnish to the surface, but I digress. It's time to get started charging your lap. Take your WD-40. Put a few drops of it on your lap. It will lubricate your finger to help diamond paste spread evenly. It will also prevent diamond paste from sticking to your finger so it's easier to wash off later. Now take your diamond paste and put little dots of it all over your lap. Try to space it out as evenly as you can, though this isn't crucial. Use your finger to rub the diamond paste into the lap, spreading it as evenly as you can. Make sure the edge gets enough diamond paste, too. Those girdles aren't going to polish themselves. Finally, ignore the sunburn on my hand. I forgot to wear sunscreen when I was out fishing. Don't make that same mistake. If you mess up and apply too much paste by the center hole, use a clean paper towel to wipe off the excess so you don't contaminate your nut. That part of the lap does not need to be charged with diamond. You're never going to use it anyway. It's time to put your lap onto the spindle of your machine. Put it on and lock down the nut. Find your old plastic credit card or suitable replacement. You're going to use it to evenly spread the diamond paste on your lap while it's rotating. Turn the motor on at the lowest rotation available. Place the card on your lap and slowly move it from the nut out toward the edge of the lap. You're going to want to do that several times. If you feel the lap tugging on your card, you'll want to add a drop or two of WD-40 to the lap and try again. You want the lap to be lubricated enough that the card moves freely across the lap, but not so much that it washes the diamond paste off. Grab your sacrificial ruby. Turn the motor back on and place the smooth, flat edge of the ruby onto your lap. Slowly move the ruby back and forth, starting from the nut and going to the outer edge of the lap. If at any point you feel that your ruby is not gliding smoothly across the lap, add a couple of drops of WD-40 and start again. For best results, you will want to do this process for several minutes. Make sure that you don't neglect any usable space on the lap, getting the outer edge of the lap for those girdles in your near future. Still, my preferred method is the steel roller method. I think it pushes diamonds into the copper better than dragging a ruby or sapphire across the lap. Using the steel roller method is similar to using the ruby method. All you have to do is gently place the roller onto your lap and move it slowly across from the nut to the edge. Do it carefully to avoid scoring your delicate copper lap. You're going to want to do this for at least several minutes to make sure you press in as many diamonds as possible. 
do not, under any circumstances, use a plain ball bearing like those used in skateboards to press diamonds into your lap. Those are notorious for scoring and gouging copper laps. Ask me how I know. It's time to clean up. You need to wash off all the loose diamonds that haven't been pressed into your lap. Those will cause unwanted scratches if we leave them where they are. Put a healthy amount of soap, such as Dawn, onto your lap. You want to use your fingers to rub the soap in first. Black swarf should develop on the surface of the copper. Don't worry, it's just the result of loose diamonds giving your copper lap a nice polish. Rinse off your lap and apply a healthy amount of soap again. This time, use a sponge with a scrubby Brillo pad attached to it to scrub your lap. I use a sponge like this one to wash laps I just charged. Vigorously scrub your lap until it looks clean and is no longer producing any black swarf. Lastly, you want to use plenty of soap and water to clean the nut, the splash pan, and any other plastic part in the vicinity of you charging your copper lap. Clean everything meticulously, then clean it again. Use a damp paper towel to wipe down other surfaces of your machine that may have been within splashing distance of your spinning copper lap during charging. You don't want to risk any contamination spreading. An ounce of prevention is worth 10 pounds of cure in this case. The surface of your clean charged lap should look slightly different from a virgin copper lap. You should see a slight sheen start to develop. This is the result of tiny diamonds that we've embedded into the copper. If you use a microscope to look at your lap, you will see tiny diamonds sticking out of the surface. It's time to reap the fruits of your labor. If you have a stone ready for pre-polish already attached to your quill, use it to test how good of a job you did charging your lap. You should see a good pre-polish being applied to your test stone. If you don't, you might have skipped a step, so go back to the beginning and watch this video again. Copper laps can take on a lot of diamond. You should expect to recharge your lap four to five times before it's fully ready for use. When polishing larger stones, you may need to recharge your lap in the middle of polishing. This is the only downside to using a copper lap for the first time. After recharging the lap several times, you should expect the frequency of recharges to decline significantly. Copper laps are versatile and easy to use. They are far more than old relics left over from antiquity. You can charge and recharge them over and over again with a wide variety of grits. Copper laps allow you to cut, pre-polish, and polish with ease. They are sure to expand your gem cutting arsenal. Like and follow me if you enjoyed this video. I had a great time making it for you. I hope it helped remove the mystery surrounding the charging and use of copper laps. Until next time, Johnny.